Hello there. This video will provide an introduction to using Monte Carlo simulation in <clears throat> Excel. I'm actually using Excel 2016, but there's other versions of Excel um, in which this will work as well. So let's start with a really basic example of calculating profits. Given your revenues, your fixed costs, your variable costs, and some uncertainty around them. So here's the situation. Um, you're thinking about investing in some project. The estimated revenues will be 194.5 thousand, and the standard deviation is going to be 15 thousand. In other words, it's plus or minus one standard deviation goes up 15, plus or minus two standard deviations would go up by 30. Your fixed costs are 60,000 with some standard deviation and variation, and your variable costs 100,000. Now this is assuming that there's a normal distribution around these inputs, which might not be the case. So if you do a simulation assuming normal distribution and it's not normal distribution, your results will not be accurate. So let's assume these are normally distributed. So um, you can use the in norm in to get a normal distribution from um, this revenue that has 194,000 as a mean and 15,000 as a standard deviation. And to randomly select from that, you're going to use rand. And you'll say this is the mean, comma, this is your standard deviation. Okay, and then you're going to drag that across to these three. All right, there's the formula again. And now your profits are going to be your revenue minus your fixed costs minus your variable costs. Okay, and that right there is your first simulation of what your profits are going to be. I'm going to highlight that in yellow. So what we want to do is actually do a number of simulations, and I'm going to do um, 500. So there's a trial, profits. So I'm going to grab the one here. I'm going to make a series by going to fill, series, one to 500, it's a column, okay. And now right here, you can see these little these profits. Okay. And now I'm going to highlight this table by hitting Shift Command Down using a Mac. And I go to What If Analysis, Data Table, I'm going to ignore Row, just use Cell Input, choose any empty cell. It needs that cell to to work in, and it should populate this. Sometimes you have to wait for a moment. Doesn't do it right away. Go to formulas and hit calculate now. There it is. Populated that row of profits. Okay. So that's all well and good. So now what we might want to do is say, well, what's my average here? So let's name this. Let's go into home. You could insert name. I'm going to name this string of values profits. Okay. Actually, I'm going to call it profits too because it looks like there's already a profits in the workbook. How about profits too? Okay. So now I can say mean equals average of profits to. I can get the standard deviation, profits to, get what the minimum is going to be, the maximum, and then what I'd really like to know is what percentage of the time is this going to 
give me negative profits. Am I going to lose money? So I'm going to say count if profits to comma in quotes is less than zero. And I'm going to put that over 500. Hopefully I did this correctly. Yeah. So it says about 22% of the time I'm going to be losing money with this particular setup. Okay. So you can keep recalculating that. Go into calculate now. You'll see there's a slight variation with all these random selection from these distributions. But um, you might want to use more trials. So what this is really doing is if revenue is normally distributed, it's randomly selecting from a distribution that has a mean of 194,000 with a standard deviation of 15. It's randomly selecting from the fixed costs. It's randomly selecting from the variable costs. And over 500 trials, it's putting together those randomly selected numbers to determine what the profits would be. Okay, I hope that is helpful for those of you using this type of simulation. Goodbye.